Hi guys, this is Ian from the Reaper Rocker Vlog, and welcome back to Album Review Series. This time, we will have Band Made once again, and we will review their fifth album, World Domination. Before we start, make sure to hit the subscribe and hit the notification bell as always to uh, receive more album reviews and also other updates in my channel. And also, don't forget to follow my social media links. World Domination is the fifth studio album by Japanese all-female rock band, Bami. It was released on February 14, 2018 and was supported with the World Domination Tour 2018. Music videos were made for the single Daydreaming, the lead track Domination, and the last track Dice. The album debuted at number 9 in the Japanese Oricon Weekly Albums chart, making the highest peak of a band-made album. Let's start the album review. My uh, top tracks in this album are Domination, Dice, and Play. Domination, uh, for me, if this is a kind of um, hard rock a mix of heavy metal. What I really love most here is mostly in the guitar parts, especially on Kanami's guitar riffs. I really love she presents it uh, from the intro to the verses. I cannot stop headbanging the song. But uh, what I really uh, love most is the music video part where she play her guitar solo on the bridge. She uh, really owned the stage and she really uh, played her best on her guitar solos. And I give her her uh, hands down on that, and I do really appreciate it. On play, uh, the first time I heard this song was the live version in YouTube. And uh, I really noticed uh, Misa's uh, bass play there, since um, I really love the bass part there. It's really alive, and it will give you um, an orgasm. Then, followed by uh, Kanami's uh, guitar play on the intro part, it really uh, complements uh, very well, alongside with uh, Akane's uh, drum plays. And when you heard those uh, elements, you won't hesitate to headbang very uh, hard. I really love also Psyche's uh, singing there. It's uh, very repetitive and it's very catchy. The lyrics also on the guitar, the chorus part, it's really uh, repetitive. You would easily uh, recall the song. And at the same time, you will able to uh, sing with the psyche when you um, hear the song. I say also that the live version of Play is way too better than the album version. Guys is my most favorite song in the album. All of the instruments uh, you will hear very well and every one of them you will hear the instrumental parts really alive. I do really appreciate uh, Bisa's bass play. She displayed her greatness there and you won't uh, hesitate to listen it. It's make you an orgasm especially on the first part and the mid parts of the song. While uh, Psyche's voice, she displayed her aggressiveness and it complements the song. It's a perfect combination. Also, uh, Kanami's and Miku's guitar plays, their riffs are uh, really great, especially on the Kanami's part. You won't hesitate to uh, headbang uh, harder if you hear that. And as well as the combination of um, Akane's drum work, this song is gauging in the uh, mosh pits. If I wish Anmade would allow to have a mosh pits in their set, I will do the honors to engage huge mosh pits in this song. I have honorable mentions in this album and those are One and Only, Rock in Me, Daydreaming, and Animoni. One and Only, 
what I love this song so much is the beat. It's uplifting. And another thing is that the Psyche's uh, singing style. She uh, have here a, a low voice in uh, singing, unlike with the other songs in the album. That's why this song it really makes unique among other songs in the album. Rockin' B, what I uh, like the uh, tune is uh, very catchy. It's kind of funky with a kind of rock and roll uh, thing, unlike the other songs. And I can't really hesitate to sing along the uh, chorus, and I cannot also hesitate to dance and clap at the same time. Daydreaming and Animony are the lightest uh, tracks in the album. And uh, what I really love here is that you will just uh, feel relaxed when Psyche is singing. I do appreciate it since you will um, see that Psyche is very versatile. She uh, displayed uh, her aggressiveness on every aggressive song that uh, bandmates release while with these uh, two songs you will just uh, see that uh, she could also sing in the um, in a light rock way. These faves in the album are Turn Me On, Honey, and Alive or Dead. On Turn Me On, the intro part of the song, it's a uh, lesson my interest to listen the song. The beat is not uh, catchy for me, but for the verse parts and the uh, chorus is a uh, really good uh, and the uh, heaviness of the song is really good. Alive or Dead, the intro of the song is good. And the song itself uh, displays some heavy metal influence. It's like a kind of 1980s heavy metal thing. But uh, what I don't like in this uh, song is Psyche's singing. It's like a distortion on her voice. It's kind of um, annoys me when I uh, hear it. That's why I seldomly uh, listen in this uh, track in this album. On Honey, what I uh, don't like in this song much is that the chorus part, especially the repeated uh, words, um, Honey, 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 it really annoys me uh, very much. And that's why I don't lo uh, listen in this uh, song and I don't like also the guitar parts here. It's uh, the transition are not uh, fits my ears. Time for the verdict. And what could I say for a bandmate's uh, world domination? I could rate this album as four out of five. The album has a good songs to listen. Majority of the songs are heavily influenced with uh, heavy metal music. The song uh, has an array of songs that you could uh, listen depending on your mood. The songs have a catchy uh, tune that you would listen from time to time. It has some repetitive lyrics. Even if it's in Japanese lyrics, you won't hesitate to uh, sing along with the song. Kanami and Miku did a perfect uh, job on the guitars. The riffs of the song really displayed a heaviness and you won't hesitate to head back. Lisa played her uh, bass very well. On the songs Play, Honey, and Dice, you could uh, able to hear her the bass solos. And Akane's drumming is also great and she played very well. Every chugging of her drums add more heaviness on each song. And when she uh, combined it with uh, Miku, Kanami, and Lisa, it's a great combination and you won't hesitate to dance and mosh around in every song. And the Psyche is the final uh, piece that uh, makes the album really uh, good. Her voice uh, gives uh, justice to the songs and I really appreciate it. This uh, album uh, really reminisces a 1980s heavy metal with a mix of like um, hard rock tracks from ACDC but with a modern twist. That's what is my impression for uh, Bandmates World Domination has a more uh, in-your-face approach comparing with the um, 
other uh, albums that they released. Okay, so we're already done with our album review in this episode. And let me know your thoughts, what would be your impressions on Bandmaid's world domination. Don't hesitate to comment down below. And for any request that you would like to make me an album review, don't also hesitate to uh, comment and also to leave a um, tweet or uh, comments on my social media accounts. This is now uh, Kian signing off and make sure to keep safe against COVID-19, wash your hands, stay safe, drink plenty of fluids. Bye!